Alright, so what you're gonna do today is learn how to beat Nelson, who basically is a chess.com bot. He can bother you a little because he always brings out his queen really early in the game and plays really aggressive chess, constantly attacking you. Um, no matter of fact, his biggest weakness is his queen in the middle of the board. And if you know how to deal with that, we can easily dominate and beat Nelson or any other pretentious chess noob who brings out their queen early in the game the wrong way, of course. Um, so before we go on and bully Nelson, we gotta first need to know how to deal with early queen attack shenanigans. Uh, we have the black pieces here, opponent is with the white pieces, they start with e4, we go e5, the most popular move after e4, um, at our level to see the least which is beginner or the intermediate one. Now whites put their queen on g5, whenever you see the move, it should remind you of protection in slash on two different places. The first one is to always prioritize protection in the bed so that such a bozo isn't brought into the world because of you. And the second one is for you to protect your king on the board. Um, so we are not gonna be worrying about kicking the queen out just yet and instead what we would like to do is to be sure that there are absolutely no checks. The only way white can give us a check here is to capture the pawn on e5 and to prevent that from happening we'll play knight to c6 pro protecting this pawn. Uh, now there is a couple of different moves white can play, the most common one is bishop to c4. I mean the whole point of bringing out the queen on just the second move and not playing actual development moves was to go for the scoreless mate. So it only makes sense for white to go bishop to c4. Uh, we see after each move what threats we have and here we got the threat of mate in 1 which could of course be prevented by pawn to g6. Uh, we are also attacking the queen here by this move. You could also put your queen on e7 which is actually the best move according to the engine but I kinda prefer g6 more. The best move according to the engine for white is to put their queen all the way back to d1 but there is no chance in heaven or hells that your bozo opponent who puts their queen on h5 on only the second move of the game is going to play that. White could and most likely will again try to achieve a scoreless mate and in order to do so they'll put the queen on f3. Always look for threats. We do indeed have a threat here which we could block by simply putting our knight on f6. We are developing all our pieces while white is only moving their queen from one square to another because they have got nothing else to do. The best thing white can do now is to start developing their pieces which they could do by playing knight to e2, stopping our knight from penetrating into their side of the board and going d4 which could create some major threats here for white. What we could do now is attack the bishop, play knight to a5 or bishop to g7 which in fact is the better move here. Developing our dark squared bishop and giving it this very good diagonal and the game goes on with you having a slight upper hand. You can also go c3 uh, to which you can again develop your bishop to g7. If they go g4, d3, a3, a4 I mean any move that gives us the opportunity to put the knight on this square on d4 we do it without any hesitation or a second thought. Why? We attack the queen. Queen slides to e3, we attack the knight in response and we have a royal fork when in the queen in the process. Queen defends the fork going d3, we can just put another one of our pawns in the center, giving you enough momentum in the opening which you could carry to the middle and end game and win easily from there. If instead they go bishop to b5, in the case of which we are totally going to disregard that a knight is under threat because if you look carefully it isn't under any real threat. If white takes we can just take back with a pawn right. Uh, what we instead want to do is attack their queen by playing knight to f6, also developing another one of our pieces in the process. If they take the knight with their bishop, we just take the queen and basically win the game. White is most likely going to take their queen one square back to h4, not allowing us to win a free pawn. Now we launch our attack, how you might ask, by playing knight to d4. We are threatening to take a bishop and we are also threatening a fork of the king and a rook, winning the rook in the process. White only has two reasonable moves here, either bishop to a4 or bishop to d3. If bishop to a4, we develop another one of our pawns and attack the bishop. If bishop to d3, we are going to reinforce our center by playing d5. Now again handing you over a completely winning position with a very strong center as you could see with two pawns here, uh, two good developed knights. While white only has a paralyzed bishop and a useless queen that's only trying to save herself. Let's now play a game against Nelson, e4, e5. Queen to h5, the same line we talked about. This queen could give us a check by capturing this vulnerable pawn on e5, so we are going to protect it with a knight on c6. Bishop to c4, going for the scoreless mate. Uh, we are not gonna fall for that. Pawn to g6, stopping the mate and also threatening to take the queen, forcing white to reroute their queen now. Queen to f3, again trying to go for a mate. We block it by knight to f6. Nelson plays g3. We are now gonna attack this queen and also threaten a fork. Um, 
He doesn't want us to fork and brings the queen back to d1. We cannot just take this pawn because as you could see it's protected. Um, let's put a pawn in the center attack and both his pawn and the bishop. Um, e takes d5. Let's I guess now push another pawn. Um, he can't take this pawn this time because it's already protected by a knight on d4. I yeah, Bishop to b3. Um, we take the free pawn. Our knight is protected by the queen so no worries there. Um, he attacks our knight with c3. Well, I guess we can just take the bishop now, yeah. Um, uh, let's develop our light squared bishop, put it in the center, giving it a nice diagonal. I think we should develop another bishop of ours. Um, let's put it on g7. Yeah, that works for me. Let's attack this rook with our queen. So the catch about starting this channel is that me and the second person that's going to be uploading alongside me, um, we are only intermediate level, probably even below that. Let's take the bishop and also threaten to take his queen. He can't take the bishop because, um, yeah, it's protected by our, by our queen. Yeah, so we only started playing a couple of years back in 2021. And to be completely fair, there ain't no chance that we will ever um, get to even the National Ophelia Master titles because we are too old for that way too old for that let's attack the knight here also put a queen on f5 so that when we take the bishop he can't take yeah that's that works and when we did inevitably fell in love with the game pursuing it as a career was out of the question as a hobby yeah why not bring the queen to h5 threaten to take his queen again um we don't have a free knight there as you could see our knight is also under attack so let's reroute it but um, a carrier or not you always want to improve at what you do and to improve at something or chess you need to learn a lot and to learn you study right uh, but that wasn't working too well for us for me in particular um, he takes with the bishop let's trade uh, let's take the knight um, I mean, everyone got their own methods of learning and to me it always has been to pass it on to someone else. It always works for me at a school with the subjects that feel hard to everyone else around. He's planning to take the rook. Let's protect it by Kesslin. Um So we reckon this might help and hence decided to give it a go. Learn through books, record a video, publish it on YouTube. Let's attack the queen, um, threaten his queen. Also memes on Instagram because it's always good to have a good laugh and probably Twitch when we are confident enough. Let's double our rooks. Um, yeah, yeah, let's, let's grab the free, free pawn there. We have another free pawn. Let's attack his rook. I think I'm gonna attack his queen now. Let's move our king out of the check. Do we do we do we have a mate here? I, I think we have a um, mm, rook takes f1, king takes back with the first move and then rook to b1 is a mate. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mate. Cuz king has now nowhere to escape. Yeah, I guess that works. Uh, um so here's how you can defeat Nelson. Um, I hope you liked the video. Until next time, Assalamualaikum.